And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. as we could, Duncan. What's this all about? Well, I have news. Wonderful, exciting news. You're aware of the space probe that we launched last year to explore the solar system. Well, I'm afraid we've succeeded far beyond our wildest imaginings. What is it, Duncan? I have made contact with an alien being. Come with me. Your Majesty, may I introduce you to Ohm? I'm Ohm. You are Randor, ruler of your planet. Uh, you can speak to Ohm with this, Your Majesty. Uh, yes, I am King Randor, the leader of my people. That is good. Uh, who, what are you? Uh, where do you come from? I am Ohm. I am of a race much older than yours. A race that has long since shed the fragile shell of a physical body. We are older than many planets. And our origin stretches to a time that would hold no meaning for you. We are born in the fiery belly of stars and pass away into the frozen black holes at the end of the universe. We travel between the stars of our galaxy. I am on a mission examining other intelligent life on my voyage through the galaxy we share. I was traveling through your solar system when I encountered your probe and spoke to one you call Man-at-Arms. I wish to visit your world. My intentions are peaceful. My desire is to briefly observe your people. It would be my great pleasure to welcome you to our world, Om. Om could well prove far more powerful than we Eternians, and the situation could be dangerous. Of course, Duncan. There are always great risks in the pursuit of knowledge. But they are risks that must be taken. Uh, how soon will you arrive? Immediately, if you like. You travel quickly? At the speed of light. I see. Well, perhaps you could travel a little slower and we'll prepare for your visit later this evening. As you wish. Duncan, could you give Om the coordinates to the palace and prepare a landing site for him? Certainly, Your Majesty. I go to prepare for your visit, my new friend. Skeletor, I have raised an army of goblin warriors from the land of Mer. And this army of yours, General Tataran, it is a strong one? It is a mighty army. It had better be. Eternia is not easily conquered. I've been set back too many times in my efforts to overrun it. Tell me about this army of yours. It is a multi-attack force composed of laser-armed airships, jetpack paratroopers, thunder lizard cavalry, robot assault walkers, and 500 goblin infantry troops. Wonderful! 
Soon I will imprison King Randor and his royal family. And the payment? Each soldier will receive 10,000 gold pieces, half in advance and half on the fall of Eternia. And you, Tataran, will rule as governor of Eternia in my name. The pact is made. When shall we attack, Great Skeletor? Tonight is the night of the new moon. It will be dark, very dark. We will fly to Eternia and attack tonight. transforming yourself to He-Man, Adam. We have no idea about Ohm's reason for visiting us. I want to be prepared for anything. I had to convince the king it would be a good idea to have He-Man on hand. Look to the skies! It's him! It's Ohm! He's here! I am Ohm. I come in peace. We greet you, great Om. We welcome you to Eternia, and we are glad you come in peace. We have much to learn from each other. I see that one of your rank is different. Who is the little creature? Little creature? I happen to be one of the greatest magicians in the land of Trolla. I see. How fascinating. Tell me about this Trolla. By the grace of Eternia, Gogol, Gogan, where are you? Uh... We're under attack. Flee to the palace. Run, run for safety. How sweet it is to see the pitiful villagers scramble from our path like frightened rodents. Yes, we will drive them from their homes. They will flee to the palace for protection, creating great confusion. And the Ancient Ones stored their secrets in the Castle Greyskull. The Sorceress is the guardian of them. We're under attack. This can only be the work of Skeletor. You must excuse me, Great Arm. I must attend to my people. Guards! Guards! The Ramparts! is surrounded. It will soon be ours. General Tataran, what is that? Why, some new weapon of the pathetic Eternians, it matters not. Attack! Drive them from the palace, my friends, but don't harm them. The goblin warriors are but innocent pawns in Skeletor's game.
storm the palace. to stop those robots before they reach the palace. Yes, Father! I know what to do! That's one less robot! Going, Tila. You taught me well, Father. Looks like we've got company. Sure hope my magic works this time. What do you know? My magic worked. Stop. Stop. Do you hear me? Stop. This is not good. I cannot allow this to take place. It is wasteful. It is wrong. There will be too much needless suffering. Instead of all this fighting, I will select one single warrior from each side. The most powerful and representative warrior. The winner will decide the conflict. And I will decide the fate of the losing side. I have spoken. Just you and me. It's not too late to call this off, Skeletor. Ah, very clever, you muscle-bound moron. Perhaps this will amuse you. You're strong, He-Man. Here's something even stronger. A mystic cage that even you can't break out of. You haven't invented the trap yet that can hold me, Skeletor. <laughs> Very impressive, He-Man. So you like to play games, do you, He-Man? Here's a little game I call... Powerball! <laughs> <laughs> if they touch you, it's going to be most unpleasant. Yeah, you leap like a swamp, Papa He-Man, but you can't avoid them forever. Next, Skeletor. Oh, He-Man, how you vex me. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Skeletor. You'll have to do better than that. And so I shall. Here's a little trick I've been saving up just for you, He-Man. Unwitting servant, perhaps what you'll need is a little more power. Attack He Man, you filthy beast! Dim witted animal, must I give you even more power? Get He Man, you stupid creature! After him, beast! Not me, you fool! Skeletor, stop! You're enraging him! No! No! I've used up all my power creating this hideous beast! Enough. You who are called He-Man, why did you not allow your enemy to be destroyed? Even though Skeletor is my enemy, I couldn't allow him to perish. I believe in the sanctity of all life. Even Skeletors? Even Skeletors. So be it. The decision is made. Skeletor, take your army and leave. But I... Enough. Leave. Now. Tonight's events have been erased from their minds. You are a young race, but you have proven yourself worthy. You have something more powerful than mighty warriors or destructive weapons. You have compassion. You know that there is something more important than strength. It has many names. Some call it love. done well this night, my friends. And thanks once again to He-Man. I think we've all learned something this evening. Perhaps, dear husband, we've learned nothing less than a better way to live. Well, it worked out pretty good, but it's too bad Arm didn't give me a crack at Skeletor. I would have given Skeletor the fight of his life. And a left, and a right. Now take that, you boneheaded fiend. Orko, watch out! Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, Orko? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.
Today we saw a terrible conflict between two opposing forces, and in the end, the battle was not won by some powerful weapon, it was won by a single act of compassion. Compassion means caring for others, wanting to help them. Fighting is often not the way to settle a problem. It may prove who is stronger, but it doesn't prove who is right. And remember, sometimes it takes more courage not to fight. See you soon.